If my wife have any problem, we are from Italy. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I come off my leg. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle working Jesus? As we welcome the couple. Uh, for them to come forward and share with us the testimonies of what God Almighty has done in their lives. The testimony will go a long way to prove beyond reasonable doubt that with God Almighty, all things are possible. So, let's start from you. Thank you. So, could you introduce yourself, the man beside you, and share with us your testimony? Okay. Children of God, if you know you are living so in the house of God this morning, Please help me to shout a big, wonderful Emmanuel. 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 I can't hear you very well. Because if you know you want to testify just like me today, because last week I didn't know that I would be here to testify. People of God, once more. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Indeed, God is with us. My name is Susan Lamidi Missisovie. I came from Italy. And the man beside me is my great husband, John Ovie. The problem that brought me here in Synagogue Church of Four Nations is, was a problem of name pain. I've been having this pain for the past six years. There was a day I was coming back from work, so there was heavy snow. So I said, okay, because when it's snowing over there, you, you don't know tomorrow you may find everywhere blocked and nobody will go out. So I said, let me stop and buy more water. I parked by the other side of the road. I don't know that there was a big hole that snow had already covered. So as I just put my first leg, all I know I found myself inside the hole. And I was having my handset with me. I called ambulance. So when they came, they dragged me out. So when they dragged me out, they wanted to take me to the hospital. I said, no, I, I would like to go home because my grandchildren, they are waiting for me. So they, they took me home. But when I got to, I explained to my grandchildren. So then I brought a dry ice block that we use over there. They use it to massage it for me. So the next day, I managed to go and see my private daughter. When I get there, they say the best thing to do, I have to go for scanning. That is to go for an x-ray. So I went there. So when the x-ray came out, they said the, the knee just twists a little bit. At a time, it will come normal. But I wait for one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years is now. No change. And this needs continue giving me pain. I've been in other country, in uh, other place of Europe, taking massage, drinking all kind of medicine, no, all away. So when I came to Nigeria, this needs to continue paining me. So my husband said, okay, let's go for scan here also. Let's see what is going on, of which we went there. So on our way, waiting for the results, and it, it, this great call came that did this miracle for me. So I told my husband, I said, let's forget about the result. Let's go first. But when we got here, I was so hard because the pain was too much. I cannot even sit. I can't even stand like this. I was just walking around. I told my husband, I said, this pain is too much, and I cannot bear it. My husband said, just hold on. And there will be the last bus stop. Don't worry. So I said, OK. So when man of God was coming, I keep on shouting. I said, man of God, help me. I have the problem of knee pain. So when man of God came to me, he touched me for the first time. It looked like light and much light came out of my eye. And he touched me for the second time. If you look at the, the, the screen, you will see the way I was doing my eye. So when I jump up, I, I see that. Uh -uh. I said, for the past six years, that is how I go. And I've spent a lot of money. And I didn't have any pain on my knee anymore. Even I cannot even squat before. I cannot go to gym. I can't go and run with my grandchildren because we normally go and jog early in the morning. For the past six years, I've been on it. And just a touch, when I mean a touch of miracle, it wipes away this pain from my knee. So how are you doing now? Ah, you can see. You can see. I cannot do this before. I cannot even sit and cross my leg. I cannot wear high shoes. On Sunday, I wear my high shoe. I can't even raise it. I can't do like this. I can't do like this before, but now I can do it. Glory be to God in the highest. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? So before we hear from you your word of advice, let us hear a word or two from your husband. 
Uh, you are very welcome, sir. Tell us your name and uh, share with us what you have to say about what the Lord has done for your wife. I have Jesus in my heart. I am satisfied. Even though I have nothing, I am satisfied. Emmanuel. You guys wouldn't know why I'm singing because I'm happy because I have Jesus in my heart. She has said all it all, but I just want to get it some. Because when the pain comes, I become uh, a home doctor by massaging her every day. When I want to listen to news, come and massage. I become a massager. But to God be the glory, when we have this great call, my name is John Ovier, and the great woman beside me is my great wife, yeah. Prophetess Susan Ovier. Yes. So she has said it all, the problem that uh, brought us here. And when we got this uh, a great call, I was relieved, and I said, this should be our last bus stop. Even she doesn't want to come because she, the pain becomes so much. And I told her, but you have to believe that doctors always treat, but God has the final healing. And when we came, it was perfected, and we are so happy. Glory be to God. <laughs> yes, the changes I noticed even before we left the mountain here, I saw her running up and down, even when we got home. We ministered the morning water that was given to us. We pray and everything. Finally, she said she wanted to go back to her gym, which she started even to today, which we could not even attend. I give glory to God. We give glory to God. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Okay, let us hear from your wife. What word of advice do you have for people listening to you with what God Almighty has done in your life? Children of God all over the world, you know, if you put your trust in daughter, daughter will prescribe for you. Where you get, a daughter is not there to tell you to take the tablet. It's because you believe in that tablet. You believe in that daughter. That is why you took the tablet. Why not believe the only wonderful God, the offer and the omega, the one that has your bone, that has everything in your life. When you put your trust, you will receive your healing. Don't, don't ever listen. Don't ever listen whatever any human being is saying about our senior prophet, TV Joshua. You just put your trust and have faith in him, and everything will be okay for you. God bless you. So in other words, you are advising all our sundry to put their trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we know uh, when you trust in God, you will never be confounded in time or eternity. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Vous venez d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cette femme qui souffrait d'une blessure au niveau du genou qui lui a causé des douleurs pendant plus de six ans. Elle dit que tout a commencé un jour de neige en Italie, car elle vient de l'Italie et est tombée dans une fosse. C'est comme ça que l'ambulance est venue la récupérer, qu'elle a développé cette douleur pendant un an, deux ans, trois ans, jusqu'à six ans, sans trouver de solution permanente à son problème, en prenant toutes sortes de médicaments, toutes sortes de traitements, sans trouver de solution permanente. Elle ne pouvait plus aller à la gym, euh, jouer avec les enfants, elle ne pouvait plus marcher librement, elle ne pouvait plus plier les jambes et même se courber. Mais aujourd'hui, elle a dit qu'elle est revenue donner son témoignage car la semaine dernière elle est venue à la réunion des partenaires, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour elle et cette douleur de plus de 6 ans a complètement disparu, elle peut maintenant plier le genou faire toutes ses activités, son mari se réjouit qu'il est devenu quelqu'un qui la, qui la massait tous les jours, mais aujourd'hui il n'a plus besoin de la masser elle est complètement libre Continuamos con más poderosos testimonios para la gloria de Dios. Vemos en pantalla esta pareja viene desde Italia y nos comenta que tuvieron la oportunidad de colectar el nuevo agua de unción. Además de ella recibir el toque de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, nos demuestra cómo puede moverse libremente. Ella nos comenta que tuvo un accidente en Italia donde estaba la sensación la, el, el, la, en invierno en donde cayó en un hoyo. Esto le ocasionó unos dolores tremendos en las rodillas sin ninguna curación. Fue a diferentes países para eh, tratar de buscar una solución a este problema sin ningún resultado positivo, hasta que tuvo la oportunidad de llegar a esta reunión donde su esposo nos comenta estar completamente agradecido a nuestro Señor Jesucristo porque ve a su esposa reanudar sus actividades como ir al gimnasio, poder agacharse, poder subir las escaleras, hacer sin ningún problema y sin ningún dolor. Ese problema desapareció instantáneamente después del toque de resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, además de ellos obtener el nuevo haga de unción, recordando que el poder no está en el agua, sino en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Continuamos. <risa> 